Hi and welcome, Kev from Sacred Soul Rising. So today I'm making, I'm going to make some really short videos to help and support you through the Christmas period. Um, <laughs> am I alone right now? Hello. Mm. <laughs> oh, we're headbutting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I want to help and support you through, um, and when I say help and support you, I want to help you self-inquire, you know, this journey, when you're going through an awakening journey, this isn't just a normal process that you go through, you can feel like everything is like you're falling down a slippery well, and the well, the sides of the well are full of that green gunk that is so slippy and you're just slipping further and further down. Now, one of the first things that you can feel on this journey is alone. And you could maybe be at a party or your friends can all come around and say, or family and say, come on, we're coming to cheer you up. And often those situations when you're going through a spiritual awakening can make you feel even more alone. And you know, in any other situation, you would not feel more alone if you were surrounded by people you care for. But what what I want to explain to you is when you're going through an awakening process, whether it's been through a twin flame connection or you have gone through something traumatic, a traumatic event in your life, or maybe um, an illness, um when you're going through a spiritual awakening, basically you are shedding the old um, denser parts of self and that can feel very hard on the body. You're basically, parts of self are dying and that is really hard to comprehend and whatever you do, whatever you would have done before to cheer yourself up, now no longer works. Um, but what I want to do is put a different angle on this today and to share with you that you are not alone. You are stepping into a phase of the journey where you're going into solitude. Now, why do, why do people go into solitude on this journey? You know, everybody either, you know, maybe it's friendships that suddenly start to dissipate or Maybe you move for some crazy reason or maybe just friends and family. Ah, oh, thank you. You're not making me feel alone. We're just in solitude together. <laughs> what is this? It, it'll, it'll probably swipe at me in a minute. Um, so, you, so I want you to look at it from a different perspective. You are not alone. You are going into solitude. Why do you go into solitude on a spiritual awakening? So you can hear the whispers of your soul. So because the soul does not speak like mind and ego. And remember, when you're going through a spiritual awakening, you're shifting. You're shifting from the old way of operating from mind and ego into a soul-led way of living, a heart chakra-led way of living and that is very hard for the mind to comprehend well it, it can't comprehend it and soul does not is is not um it doesn't scream and shout at you doesn't soul it operates through yearnings it operates through you know just feeling those little niggles it op operates through hearing these things over and over again or maybe seeing things or, you know, certain songs, certain numbers, certain animals, certain words. That is how soul works and being guided through soul. And so it's very different. And you will do things not from a thought perspective. You will just do it because it's, it's a feeling within. Or you automatically just do it. And then afterwards you go, why did I do that? If you are in the solitude part of an awakening journey and it is around the Christmas period, I want you to change how 
you view Christmas and go, okay, I'm going to make this about my Christmas, about making it special for me, giving presents for me. And when you say giving presents for you, what can you do that is not going to cost you anything? You know, maybe take, you know, days out into places that you've never been before that is going to expand your chakra system. When you are catapulted onto this journey, how you feed your soul and how you nourish yourself, maybe before you absolutely loved certain television programs or maybe it was certain sport or maybe you loved shopping and clothes or going out with your friends and now none of that makes sense. The reason why is because you are vibrating at a different frequency. You are now transmuting light coding. And so instead of seeing Christmas as feeling alone, feeling by yourself, turn it around and go, no, I've been given a gift of solitude. Solitude is there so I can hear the whispers of my soul. And by the way, solitude does not last long. But solitude will help and guide you so you can hear what your soul and heart is directing you to. You will know when the vibration is changing and, and you need to go out more. Normally, after the solitude part of the journey, you shift into more of a creative energy. And that creative energy ignites that heart chakra, that throat chakra, that sacral chakra, and you'll want to go out. But at this point, you are changing direction. I often say, I don't know if you've ever watched Harry Potter. I think it might be the first one. And it's where the steps, they're walking up the steps, they've just arrived, and the steps suddenly shift. And then they're going to a completely different area. And that is what is happening to you. And you're, you were walking up, a, you know, a flight of stairs to a certain point, but now your stairs have just suddenly shift, shifted. And instead of being from mind and ego now, you are now moving into a soul vibration. Soul vibration and heart vibration and being guided by soul and being guided by heart is a beautiful vibration to move in. It can feel lonely when you are in that solitude phase. But know and trust that this journey is guided by divine. And I send you so much love. Many blessings.